It's, I mean, it's a incredible situation. It's the most uh, serious, um, very complex problem. It's threatening to, um, you know, our fossil fuel-based economy. It's threatening to our political systems because we haven't been able to resolve it. It's threatening to our sense of the future, meaning, cultural norms, so many different things. And you think about a threat that significant that's about the future, the idea of security, ontological security, um, it's it's not just you know what what do we even do how would we respond so it's we really there's the work I've done has been about um, emotions that are disturbing um, the, the idea that um, especially for people in privileged nations uh, like the United States uh, the guilt that comes up in association with thinking about climate change fear about the future a sense of helplessness um, and so these are all things and I can say more about it but my work is been really about the way that emotions shape um, how we how we respond, but not just in a psychological sense, but as a sociologist thinking about emotions in a social context. So the fact that we haven't seen our political leadership be able to take strong stands, although here in California, that's um, somewhat different. Um, that that uh, makes more sense of fear and helplessness. The fact that we um, don't have a look around the room and see a lot of other people who appear to be concerned makes people feel more sense of fear and helplessness. So in a social context, these emotions, not just maybe in a biological way.